things you need to do to attract more views, like more eyeballs to your channel. And do you know one sweetest part? The sweetest part of this whole thing is that you are supposed to do it immediately after upload. But don't worry, you can also do it to every of your videos, like right now. So once you're done watching this video now, I will advise you to urgently go and do it so that your videos will start going viral more small years so these four things that i'm going to be sharing with you today <laughs> it's actually something that most of all these big big creators do but we don't know we small channel we neglect some of all these things even though we see it we just feel oh because they're big creators they should do it and me i'm a small creator i don't really need to do it sister you better start doing this thing now. I'm going to be giving us four things. The first one, most small channels don't actually do it. Because yesterday I took my time and I was going through my subscribers page. Like if I click on, on your video to watch, I go through your channel. I go through your page, your video to see whether you are actually doing some of all these things. And to my greatest surprise, I found out that this number one, most of you are not doing it. So if you're my subscriber and you're watching this video, start doing it now. The first thing that you are to do as soon as you upload your video, as soon as you upload a video on your channel is drop other video links in the description box. One thing about this YouTube is, is, is that things that are actually going to make you go viral are these little, little things. And sometimes they really don't matter. But what are we all here for? We are looking for ways to make our videos blow up. And without saying too much, I must tell you that um in my youtube analytics lately i found out that this thing have been actually contributing to views of my other um videos what i actually do is that as soon as i i upload video here i go to my playlist that is why you actually need to have a playlist yes in order for this one to be working very fine for you but if you don't want to use a playlist if you want to be doing copy and paste good and fine so i actually um copy the link of, of 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 a particular playlist video and i drop it in my description now i know you'll be asking you'll be wondering how do i do it what you need to do is immediately after you upload your video you know normally it's going to automatically save it that is uploaded then the next thing you're going to do is to log into the desktop version of your youtube um studio yes so click on edit then go to that video you just uploaded click on the um description box so after writing your description if it is one video link that you're going to be dropping which is not even advisable you're meant to drop like four or five years because you don't know who god might touch to click on on them to watch let me say somebody come across your channel and maybe that video that the, the person is watching the person find it very very interesting like the video was so so helpful to the person the person might just click on your description box and once the person click on it and see that there are other links to your videos but you will just click on it straight and start watching it like this thing uh, is actually working for my channel very very well like i saw it on my analytic box so that is why i bring it to us today we should start doing this yes so and one thing that i'm going to advise you is for this thing um for you to get better results all this long description we we drop on our videos that are too much okay just tell us three points just two lines is okay tell us what the video is all about and what we are going to see in the video yes then the next thing you need to do is drop few few tags yes don't go and overload the, um, the place with tags you, you can just drop like four tags is okay that is the key point of your video make sure you drop it then after that you just go straight to placing the vi the video links either you're going back to your, to your youtube channel and copying the video links one one or you just bring a playlist down shikina this is just it i bet you if you start doing this thing don't worry the number four point that i'm going to share with you is actually going to shock you because most of us were neglecting all these things so let us dive into the number two points the second point is use of tags yes keep put tag anybody that tell you that tags is not working don't mind that person the person is actually deceiving you use tags because there are something that i use and it's working for my channel very well you see this app here if you're my follower i've talked about this app over and over again because i don't know as a youtuber you don't have this vdiq app why not? Why? So go and download it ASAP. Because this app is actually going to help you with a correct SEO tag. 
so all you just need to do is let's say you want to make a video on video editing or how i edited my video with my smartphone mm -hmm. now log into your video iq app if you don't know how to use this video iq app i'm going to recommend this video for you to go and watch i explained in details how to use the app so once you've watched the video you'll be able to understand this particular point that i'm making now so once um after uploading your video finish you know you you do the description part which is dropping links then this number two now is the next thing you are going to do all you just need to do that section where the road tags go to um the video iq app you know normally you you already have the idea of the video you made which is how i edit with my smartphone or, or mobile phone put it on generate ideas video iq is, is going to help you with titles it's going to help you with description it's, it's going to help you with so many things and it's going to help you with tags so all you just need to do is copy and paste copy the tag there then bring it to the tag session in that your editing side in your youtube studio then place it there so one thing that i'm going to advise if you see any irrelevant tag yes because video iq is is fond of that they're going to give you they're going to give you tags which which don't even consign the video so i'm going to beg you to make sure you remove the tag yes make sure you remove them in order not to confuse the algorithm yes why are you doing this you're actually doing it you know some of us we post video and we do mistakes in our spelling sometimes or or um the algorithm might not really understand our topic but with our description and our thumbnail and also the tags youtube algorithm will be able to push the video fact now what is this will be able to push the video far to more audience so if you're not doing this thing please i'm begging you you better start doing it and your channel will not remain the same so without um, too much being said let's dive into the number three yes i know most of you are actually doing this because recently i've been seeing it on smaller channels here and for those of us that have not started doing this end screen start doing it. what is end screen end screen are those videos that pop up at the ending of a video like if you watch this my video to the ending you're going to see end screen yes so most of the time when we are watching video we see um some creators making reference to okay this video i did is about this go and watch it this video i did is about this go and watch it and lately the analysis i i get from my video views is that most of my views are coming from my playlist that they're coming from my end screen is that not a good news so you actually need to start doing this now don't leave it for big creators don't allow them to be ah don't allow them to be feeling we said we need to start doing all these things so that we can also be like them so how can you create your end screen as long as after you're done um writing the description that is putting your video links to the description box then the next thing you do is to put tags after that just click on save then the next um part the next session you will see is to put end screens and card so that end screen, when you click on it, it's going to give you like various options. It's either you drop three videos or you put two videos and subscribe button. That is for people to subscribe immediately after watching the video. It's going to pop up. Don't worry. Yes. So just pick up videos that you know is either related to that content you do. Like me now, as for this video that I did, I talked about video IQ. So definitely if you watch to the end of this video, I'm going to be recommending that video for you to watch. Yes. So you don't really need to start going to my channel to start looking for that video. You will see it at the end of the video. So this is what end screen is all about. And if somebody has the opportunity to watch your video to the end, it definitely means that they will be interested to click on others. And this thing actually helps you to, to suggest your video to more people. I don't know why they, we YouTubers they really need to start hitting hitting hard on all these points because they are actually working like magic they are working for me so if you're not doing it it simply means you're not maybe you're doing it and not getting good result it simply means maybe you're doing it the wrong way and you have to take a u-turn make sure that the video you are putting as your end screen should be related to the video you just did and should be video that somebody will find educating yes so if you're a comedian you can also put a video that somebody after life see this thing works for any niche any niche at all i'm even surprised that after watching nollywood movies i see end screen i'll be like wow so these people are actually serious any film at all i watch on youtube here i see end screen even this 
popular video. I saw end screen on one of his videos one day. So who are you not to put end screen? Now let's go to the last one, last but not the least. I'm still going to give you one extra point, which is a bonus. Yes, a bonus point. Yes, yeah, because I didn't add it to the list, but I'm going to add it as a bonus. So the fourth thing you're going to do as soon as you upload your video is YouTube cards. Mm. I don't know one sweetest part about these YouTube cards. You can actually um put five YouTube cards. Imagine somebody watching your video and video expos are popping up. Boom, 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 boom. The person will be like, wow, okay, let me click on this and watch. Let me this thing is working for me. That is why I'm sharing it though. If you're if you're my um, subscriber, my follower, you will know that I only bring out what works for me. Yes. I don't bring out if there's an update going on on this YouTube and I have not tried it, I don't bring it up here to my channel, no. I only tell you what works for me. So if you do it and it's not working for you and you come back to me, I'll give you reasons. So take note of that. YouTube cards, as, uh, as, as soon as you're done with your end screen, the next option you will see is YouTube cards. Still in that um, YouTube studio, all these points I just told you, they are on that YouTube studio, yes not the desktop version not the normal youtube studio the desktop version rather so when you click on your youtube card you will see option either you tell us either you show us your playlist or videos or your previous live streams or shots so what i'm going to advise you to do for this one i don't think you don't necessarily need to put your playlist this one just um, select video since you can select up to five videos so it, it, even if your video is three minutes just find a way even if it's 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 minutes interval put those cards put those cards mm -hmm. like you know earlier on i made a reference to video iq app one uh, and and as you're watching the video you saw that um a card popped up on the screen that is what i call card so imagine somebody watching to that extent and suddenly he sees the card the person will definitely click on it to watch it that is if the person don't understand um the video iq app so that is that for youtube cards so i advise you to start doing it now now the last expo that i said i'm going to give you is pinned comments mm -hmm. these things are what all these big creators do we feel oh they're big creators they're making it that is why it's working for them start it that mentality remove it and drop it start making use of all these points that i just listed for you pin comments you can either use pin comments to Tell us about the video you're preparing or tell us about your latest video and we should go and watch it. You can either drop it as, um, drop the video link for us on the pinned comments or you tell us more info about the video you just showed us. Yes, the video you just produced for us to watch. So, guys, if you are able to apply all these points that I just listed, hey, I swear your, your, your videos will start going far yes you even if you are if even if you've been doing it before calm down and go through this video over and over again check if there are places you are doing mistake and try to correct them so if you've not been doing it for other of your videos maybe you have videos you uploaded last month go and start doing it now you have videos that you uploaded last year go and put end screen and card yes they're still working they're going to help you revive those old videos so guys i'm going to stop here thank you so much for watching and if you have not subscribed and you have watched to this extent subscribe now subscribe so that anytime i bring good news like this you'll be notified mm -mm. hit that notification bell and turn it to all so that you'll be the first person to get this good news lastly don't forget to share share so that more people can get this beautiful good news i bring to your table bye and see you in my next video